Hi, I'm JJ Snyder with the Red Carpet Report. Tonight we're celebrating with the Big Brothers and Big Sisters of Los Angeles at the Rising Stars Gala. Get over here. How are you guys? Doing good. Hi. Good to How see are you? you. Good. good. I'm JJ Snyder with the Red Carpet. What? Hi. What? That's how it is. Okay, so guess what? Hi, how are you? This um, is my daddy, yo. Daddy, yo. I know. I just making sure. Dad. Yeah. Now you guys have the same initials. Yep. All wow, right. Wow, you don't yeah. even want to figure that out. Yeah. <laughs> I like. I have the same initials as my mom, so it, this is like a little more of a bond. It's kind That's of it. a bond here. It's kind of a thing. All right. I, like it. I was on your website. All right. And I saw a tweet that you put out today, and it said maybe you scratched your phone. Yeah, I scratched what my happened? phone. You know what happened was, you know, like you ever, you ever have your phone on your lap and you're driving, and then it slides off. And then it goes on like the side of your, yeah. and then but but that's that where happens. that's where that little piece where like you 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 can like go up and down on the. On that happened. Well, it got stuck right, and yeah. I pulled it out a little too hard, and I just scratched the bottom. Okay. Doesn't look too bad. Live. And it upset it's the new me. What? It's the iPhone 5, baby. Yeah, that's how so we do. Oh, you got the new thing. That's it's why it hurt so bad. That's why I had to tweet it. Uh, yeah. like, ah, it's iPhone 5. Thing. Well, why didn't you just get a cover for that? Rashad? Well. Ah, uh, it's a long, <laughs> nice. long story. I like how she said your name. But let me it. let me tell her to go because this is important. It's a shout out to Apple, baby. You can give mm -hmm. me that endorsement whenever you're ready. But the iPhone 5 oh. prides itself on being the thinnest phone out right now. Right. So why would you put a case on it That's and true. disguise the beauty of how thin the iPhone oh, 5 is? You don't want to fatten up your phone. Why? You might as right. well go get a Nokia right. at that point. That's true. That's true. Mac, Apple, talk to me, baby. Talk to my boy. Let's make I it like happen. This rising star. Let's do this. Yeah, Let's rise are, together. iPhone happen. six, maybe seven. Do you see? They just came out with an, a new mini mini yeah. iPad. I'm doing it. I'm do, I don't have a reason for it, but I'm getting no, it. No, I get it. I get it. I'll show yeah. you how to work it. I'm gonna use it as a snowboard. Hey, so you have got a lot going on. Yeah, Wait, kind of. A little music, a little dancing. Yeah. I saw you dancing over there. Oh uh, yeah, that was a little groove, a little groove. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so hey, tonight is all about. Uh, positive influence right. on young people. Right. Positive message. And they have chosen you to honor. It's, it's an amazing honor. It is. Uh, I, I can't believe it. Uh, you know, Big Brother, Big Sister is a great organization. They've done so many great things for kids that need positive uh, role models and people to look up to. And, you know, for me to get the Rising Star Award, wow. it's, it's huge. It's a blessing. And I can't wait to. I got to ask you something. Does yeah. it make you feel like just a little bit of pressure, though? Like you've. No. Uh, you know, not really. I think anything they, they came to me, and and I'm I'm just so thankful. You know what I mean? It is a pressure to uh, want to make them happy for for like you know giving it to me. But I um, <laughs> I think it's just it's just a great experience for me, and I can't wait to receive it. Okay, great. So your dad Roy is here with us tonight. Yeah, daddy O. Tell me something that your your speaking of mentors. Yeah. Tell me something that your dad has passed on to you that you really think was right on. Don't eat yellow snow. Just kidding. I, <laughs> I told him that early. Don't eat yellow snow. Right after an incident. I said, don't uh, eat that. That's not a snow uh, cone. Uh, um, no. You know, I think the one thing is just uh, use your common sense. That's been a big, big deal in, in the household. Uh, you know, yeah. so many things that go on in your life that, you know, you can easily resolve just by using your noggin. And common sense. Common sense. Okay. Really common sense. That's something you always it wasn't the main thing, but basically yeah. it was being there, first of all, having fun, laughing, and saying, don't do that, don't do that, and don't do that, and be sure not to do that. And he was like, well, you said don't do all these things, then what can I do? And I said, nothing. <laughs> and so at wow. that point, uh, honestly, at that I stuff. was, but at that point he was like, well, you know what, I'm going to show you, I'm going to go do these other things, which was play music, uh, um, become a drummer. Uh, draw uh, all these other things that he had to figure out if dad says don't do all these things then I'll kind of learn how to create and yeah. therefore uh, he learned early that art was appreciated by the world especially me uh, being an artist being an actor being a director and he was like well I'm gonna do all these things and uh, now dad is giving more approval so that's it's a great place to put all that energy isn't right. it great energy. Yeah. right yeah it was, it was good what are you most passionate about that you're working on right now um, I think molding yellow myself snow. into some yellow snow, not yellow snow. <laughs> I think molding myself into the best songwriter, producer, music producer I can be. Uh, it's a big goal of mine. I've always produced music, but you know I'm building out uh, my own studio now, and and me and my father have our own entertainment company, and we have studios we're putting money into and getting ready for some serious stuff. But I think a um, big goal of mine is just to to be a, a staple in the in the music business and, and mm -hmm. change it, evolve it, because that's what it's all about. And I just bring what I can to it to help it grow. One of the youngest CEOs that I know personally at 21, he's been the CEO of Three in a Row Entertainment for the last two and a half years. And I'm proud of uh, being the president that I know I can be fired, so I need to say something ah! smart. Right. Okay, now, hold, hold, 
hold on a second because we just said 21 years old. So what did you do on your 21st birthday? <laughs> I, I worked all day. I, yes. I hosted a television show. Good for you. Yeah, I did. Yeah. And uh, it's no yeah. better way Party to... like a rock star. Well, I celebrated by uh, receiving a paycheck, so that was fun. Amen. Uh, but, you know, I got, got off work at about 8 o'clock. I had a, a party that ended at a 10 o'clock, so... You know, I didn't really get to enjoy that too much, but had an after party, hung with my family, my friends, and woke up the next morning and had a meeting. Great. Yes, All we right. did. That's it. Congratulations tonight. Go enjoy that party. Yes. Say, What's that? Uh, he's always been a good boy that's Aww. developed into an awesome young man. Thanks, Dad. That's it. That's genius. Post that on the web. Yeah, that's good what stuff. we want to end with. That's what we want to end with. <laughs> Matter of fact, we can start with that. Yeah, start with that. Let's hey, here's one that. way to end. I love you, son. Aw, love you too, buddy. Aww, you guys are great. Yeah. Good to see you. Lovely to meet you guys. Thank you.